I'm just thankful for the opportunity of the girls to get out here and be able to compete. It teaches us not only like basketball lessons, but also life lessons. Yeah! It's social media day for the Monroe High girls basketball team. It's also the Hornets' first scrimmage. Monroe girls basketball is about to have a season. Practice will be without a couple key players in the early going but for all the right reasons. The girls' soccer program is making a deep push in the postseason. Regardless, it's nice to be back on the court, according to second-year coach, Chad Adolph. Three months ago, um, if you'd have asked me, you know, what would you say if I told you we were gonna be on the floor? today having a scrimmage, I would have told you, I don't think the odds are good. Um, I'm just thankful for the opportunity of the girls to get out here and be able to compete. You know, I told the girls that, that after the end of the scrimmage that we got to be thankful for every opportunity we get because the one thing I think we've learned over the last couple months is we have no idea what tomorrow's going to bring. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Give me um, the, uh, the first five, but I only want four. Offense and defense, we're going four-man shell. Offense and defense, two. Three, four, five, here we go. It's just minutes away from the Hornets' first scrimmage against Purcell. DC, you're in D, Sap, you're in D. Malin, five, go to the three. Um, Sap, you're on the baseline, you'll rotate in. Mate, you're on defense. All right, here we go. Jazz. You're gonna rotate in on D, okay? Here we go. Move and talk, move and talk. On the flight of the ball, good. Three and five are driving, three and five are driving. Baseline, get there, good, good. Good, move the ball, move the ball. That's it, good, get there, good. That's it, that's it, that's it. Move, 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 move. Good, good, hold up, rotate, rotate, rotate. Make sure we're talking, make sure we're talking. After that, if there's anything uh, we want to work on, um, then uh, we'll readjust and then take a little bit of a break um, and go from there. So if we want to do, uh, I told him I want to see some 2-3 zone. Um, and then uh, um, if he want, I told him we're going to work on 2-3 as well throughout the whole thing. So if there's anything he wants to see as well, then uh, we'll just ask each other to do it. So okay. um, we kind of go from there. So anything we see in the first two quarters, then I'd say we use that, that second half, um, second half hour to say, hey, will you do more of that so we can get work on that, so. How are you, Jamie? Good, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. All right, ladies, here we go. Um, hey, first opportunity to get after it against somebody else. Are you gonna make mistakes? Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's your first game opportunity to get on the floor. Mistakes are gonna happen followed up with instant hustle play and you're good. You understand? No getting down on yourself. Shots aren't gonna fall. This is your first opportunity. We are still getting in shape, okay? So, take care of the basketball. Value every possession. Remember, race to space. Get out wide, run the alleys and need a rim runner, right? We're looking for quick opportunities. If it's not there, then we're settling down and valuing that possession, right? In the half court setting, okay? We're 50, 50, match up, right? Make sure we're talking. I want hit, go get, rebounds, chin the ball, turn out, okay? Chin the ball, turn out, all right? Hey, have some fun out there, all right? Have some fun. What's that? Uh, yes, we're starting, good question. Three around two offensively, three around two offensively, okay? Hey, let's get after it together. Let's go. Match up, just keep her up front. 
One arm length away, not too close, not too close. Good! Brooklyn, you see what happens? You keep her in front. Press break, press break. Right here, Jess. Brooklyn, set the screen, roll. Hey, a three, two count, two count. Hit her, middle jazz, middle jazz. Hey, come get it. Good, 50, 50, Brooklyn. Can't put that ball down immediately. We're catching, checking cutters, then looking to attack, okay? Here we go, high energy on the bench, ladies. Let's go, high energy on the bench. Get up there, help side, PC. Good, PC. Good, Lois, get over there, PC. Jazzy, Jazzy, come here. What we talked about yesterday in practice. Yes, she gets in the high post. Now it's one-on-one, -on -one. it's one arm length away, right? We get up too tight, she's gonna do what she does. She's really good at attacking that hip and getting opposite, okay? Make her become a jump shooter with a contested jump shot. Does that make sense? Okay, good learning opportunity. Now we know, all right? Now go show me, go. One of the things as a high school coach that I've learned is we don't get to pick and recruit our players. We get the girls that come up in our system um, and it's rare that as a high school coach, you're going to get a girl that's just going to be a D1, just a, an athlete, a player that you know is getting next level right now. Mm -hmm. Statistically speaking, less than 3% of girls will go on to the next level to play ball. So as the thing that I love about being a high school coach and Back, PC. Back, PC. focusing on the student athlete side of the game is, is that it's, I believe it's our job, but it's incumbent on us coaches to use the game to teach these girls life skills that they're gonna take with them long after their playing days are done. Now there's some out there that'll say, but coach, your job is to teach X's and O's. To them, I would say that they don't understand what the role of a coach is in the high school game. Because um, given the fact that over 97% of my players will never go on to play college ball, I want to make sure that they get out of the game what I got out of the game playing. Is that things that I will forever take with me that I learned playing this game. And so our five core values together, tough, accountable, selfless, and thankful is, is what we try to center everything on. And it's not just the high school level. You know, we've got some great youth coaches that have also bought in and have done a fantastic job. And we're now starting to see those, like the freshman players and our sophomore players and youth that are coming up, that they're living that. And they're learning it at the kindergarten through second grade level. So, um, you know, it's, it's my hope that through those teachings and using the game to center those things is that one, when we center those core values and we talk about girls being accountable and um, being thankful that they're not then taking our corrections as, as, as a basketball player, but more of trying to teach the whole player. In practice, because we just don't have the numbers, right? Until we get our soccer girls back. So this is really great experience. Don't be down on yourselves, okay? Don't be down on yourselves. This is how we learn, okay? So it's very easy as a coach to be like, why didn't you get that, that assignment done? Why didn't you close out? Well, but when you phrase it, of going, hey, were you accountable? Did you know what you're supposed to do there? And they're going, nope. Then it's, I feel like for a player, it's less taking it personal. Um, you know, and as a coach, when you, when you approach it that way, um, and they've already said going, nope, I know I'm supposed to get it done. No, then we're moving on, next play. You know, if they know what they're supposed to do and they know they simply just get it, didn't get it done, then our job is done. They've learned it, now they just need more reps. <laughs> Mace, just reverse the ball. Stop forcing that thing. It's only gonna be there initially. Only gonna be there. Hey, low, low, low. Hey, looking second or third option. Get open, get open, get open. Good, dribble it up, dribble it up, dribble it up, dribble it up. Zipper to pin! Yep. Jazz, you gotta come get the ball. You're waiting for that pass to get to you. Hey, pin! Pin! 
Pin. Oh, over, 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 over. Go, 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 go. Pin, pin. Good, good. Nope, nope. Hey, hey, hey. You're good, you're good, you're good. Hey, that's gonna be there, that second side, that second ball reversal, okay? Low! Take it up, take it up, take it up, take it up. Oh, pin! Nope, open, play, play! Knock it down, there it is. Good knock, it's a good shot. Mace, Mace, it's a good shot, it's a good shot, it's a good shot. Ultimately, I think it's, it's our job, especially in today's society, that by using those core values, I hope that if we do our job right as coaches, then we will help take young girls from our youth and junior high programs and turn them into strong, confident young women by the time that they graduate from middle high school. Um, because I gotta tell you right now, I think our, our world needs a whole lot of that. Um, and the thing that makes me the most proud is, you know, last year we sent a girl on um, the next level, B3. And, um, you know, I still get text messages ready going, Coach, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And I constantly have that. Um, and as a coach, yeah, I mean, it's, that to me is a bigger accomplishment than winning championships in games. Um, you know, it's, <laughs> you know, I, a lot of coaches will tell you, you may not know the impact that you have on a player for four, five, ten years down the line, but it's those messages and thankfully for, for me, I'm thankful that I've already had players reach back out and say I really appreciate it. Um, this is year number two. This is year number two. Um, you know, and it's, we got some, we got some incredible kids coming up. I mean, this, our coaching staff and like I said, our, um, the youth coaches and the volunteers that are putting their time in, investing into our young ones. We got some incredible kids coming up and not just basketball players you know i we've got a seventh grade class that watching them play and the way that they just they've adopted those core values and they just invest in each other it's it's pretty special um yeah we want to win games we're all competitive that's why we play right um partially anyways so um i think the byproduct if if we do what we've set out to do i think we'll have success I really do. Speaking of success, it's first week of practice is officially done. In the books. In the books, yep. Was it success? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, the fact that we got to have more than a week of, of practice, um, the girls have adopted the, you know, the hand washing, the, the hygiene, the social distancing, doing what we got to do, whatever it takes to have a season. Um, you know, it's, um, they've gotten after it in practice. They've been tough, um, you know, realizing that there's only so much we can simulate in practice because we're still waiting for to share the court with our girl, our soccer girls. Um, yeah, it's been a success. You know, it's, today was a success. You know, if you look at the scoreboard, yeah, they won by the points, um, but it's successful for me because the point of the scrimmages are it allows us coaches to see, okay, what do we got to put together for a practice plan going into next week? Um, what drills do we need to spend a little bit more time on? Um, but we also saw some positives too, and we saw growth. You know, I told the girls from, from first quarter to last quarter, there was growth. They got better by the end of the game. Good, good, back, good, patient, good. Mace, you got to get back sooner, up, up, up. Good, yes! Patient with the ball! Patient, Mace, no, reverse the ball. Good. Back, back! 23! Get out of there. Nice shot, nice shot. You go ahead and stop it, Jamie. Here we go, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hustle up, hustle up, hustle up. All right, on that last two, three, right? They had this ball right here. Jazz went middle, right? We had this corner here, here, and here. Mace, you're way out here. Ball goes opposite, you gotta dive down. You're now okay. almost midline lowest. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, on that rotation when you're when you're a wing. So they got that flash right in there. That wasn't you. The ball goes here, you're down on that block, right? You got high poster block. So you're here, this wing goes out, you gotta take here, and now Macy's right here in that middle, okay? Hey, good job. 
Yeah. Um, on, uh, on 23 down here, 23 down here. Remember, we're in pin, pin. We're good in good looks. Don't force anything. Get that ball to second side. Together. So, the pin is open. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Hey, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Hey, appreciate you all being here. Hey, appreciate you, you all being you. here. Job, hey, that was an awesome job, man. Appreciate awesome it. job. Um, you got some quickness and some talent. Yeah. You guys are gonna be good this year. You guys are gonna be real good. Um, you mind if I say something to your team? Hey, ladies, ladies, that was an awesome job. You all got talent, quickness, and toughness. And I know Coach uh, Jamar is gonna, gonna have you all working right towards the beginning of the season. Um, play hard, great job today. Good luck the rest of the way out. Get after it. Um, wait, we got some youngins down here and they needed this experience today. So thank you all very much for sharing the court with us today, all right? Thank you. Too. Coach, thank you all. Good luck. Let me thank know you. if you need anything, Same okay? Here, Good job, ladies. All right, so. This is great in so many levels. Eyes here, please have a seat. Have a seat. So many levels. One, it shows us as coaches what we've got to work on in practice for practice plans this week, right? Obviously, handling that pressure. Um, Passing-wise, you can't leave your feet and make a pass, okay? Especially in a press break. Because as soon as you leave your feet, everyone knows what you're doing. Because there's no real way you're shooting a shot from all the way down at that other, other read line, right? Anytime you leave your feet, they know exactly where it's going because your shoulders are pointed that way, right? We can't be throwing one-handed passes because um, that's a weak pass, right? Two hands over the head, okay? Scoring passes are what kind of passes? Bounce passes in the half court. Scoring passes are bounce passes. Too many times we're shoveling it underhand, okay? Um, we had some good looks. The last two quarters, you know, the purpose of the scrimmage is to get better. From tip-off to end, we got better. We got better. And that's the purpose of these scrimmages, right? Okay, we had some accountability issues. So we had girls that weren't getting over to midline when they're supposed to be soon enough. So that, no, that tells us we're gonna be drilling that this week in practice, okay? Get more reps like that. We got some girls that are still turning and watching, still turning and watching, right? So our third piece of accountability is we're supposed to know our roles. If you're a girl that's supposed to just go get every stinking rebound, then you can't be sitting and watching. Your mindset is that ball's mine. I am gonna assume that every shot is a miss and I'm going and getting it. We got rebounds down here. We're gonna have some more rebounding drills this week because we're still getting that rebound and we're right here and then we're turning immediately into traffic and putting that ball on the floor, okay? That's on me because we haven't done a whole lot of, of rebounding drills so far in the first week and a half of practice, okay? But I now know we've gotta do it because we're getting nervous in traffic, handling that basketball after a rebound. The, the first thing, the most common mistake is when we don't know what to do is put that ball on the floor immediately, right? And that can't happen in a lot of situations because that makes you less effective as a ball player, okay? So you got a chin, turn out. If you need a dribble, it's a bust out dribble this way, not in that middle of the floor initially off of defensive rebound, okay? Um, the other thing that we're gonna work on this week in practice is sealing that defender off arms out, throwing to the outside hand, then ripping and turning and facing, okay? Because we're not sealing girls and they're coming in for those steals, right? Because they're quick. You know, I saw a few times you were barking out some orders out there on the floor. That's what, that's what captains do. That's what point guards do. And I saw you being receptive to it, right? Here's the thing, we're young. Here's my challenge to you though. We gotta develop even more leadership skill on the floor, right? You see girls not doing what they're supposed to do? I think as a player, I would much rather have my teammate telling me where to go than as opposed to the coach pulling me out saying, this is where you gotta go, right? Okay? So this, that's the challenge for you going to the next scrimmage. A little bit more vocal, telling people where to go and where they gotta get to, okay? Um, last core value. What is it? I'll tell you what, I hope you all are thankful for the opportunity to be out here sharing the floor today. Because with what's going on right now, we're not promised any opportunities going forward, right? So we have to take advantage of every opportunity to be thankful for the ones that we get, okay? So like I said before, I know it's Halloween. I know a lot of people are hosting parties. Please make the smart decision and be safe, okay? Before we get out of here, I need everyone to hit the hand sanitizer. I need you to wash your hands. I need you to mask up. 
and then we're gonna get these um, um, chairs put up before we leave, okay? Um, girls, I'm proud of you. That was a lot of fun. I don't know if y'all have fun, but I had a lot of fun watching you compete out there, okay? Um, good job, let's get a break. Captain, break us out. Together, top. Next, on Inside the Hornet's Nest, the players. Understand each other's roles now, which will lead us to the success that we're looking for. We always pick each other up when we fall. That living by those core values as a team will actually help us a lot. <laughs>